A group of scientists at NUS and in Switzerland have developed a sustainable way for cities like Singapore to grow its own food and vegetables. It uses black soldier flies to help break down food waste. Fast-growing larvae feed on food waste, converting it into useful biomaterials. These can then be returned back into the food production system as fertilizer. Assistant Professor Nalini Punyamurthy from the Department of Biological Sciences at NUS has been leading the three-year study, and she joins us now for more on this. Uh, good evening, Professor. The research team is looking at breeding these larvae that can process a heterogeneous waste to suit Singapore's food consumption patterns. We do have insect farms here already rearing black soldier flies uh, to return waste to the, uh, to, uh, into the economy as viable biomaterials too. So how does your study differentiate itself from existing efforts such as this? Hi, and thanks for inviting me once again. So to answer your question, well, a lot of the current systems often depend on homogenous food waste. For instance, for, uh, spread spent grains from uh, breweries or large outputs from factories. But as you mentioned, a lot of Singapore's food waste is actually quite heterogeneous and diverse. And so currently there is no sustainable model that studies how we can use heterogeneous food waste and how we can convert that into valuable products at the end. And so that's what we're studying at NUS, we are developing machine learning methods whereby we can predict how the larvae might behave based on the differences of the substrate that they are grown on. Professor Nalini, your research involves trying to improve the reproduction of these black soldier flies so that they can basically breed in smaller spaces, breed faster and so on. Can you give us an update of the progress that your research has, has had so far and, and where or how perhaps this can be applied in an urban setting like Singapore? Right. So, I mean, black soldier flies are not new. In fact, across the globe, several companies have demonstrated the feasibility of doing BSF bioconversion, but often their facilities are centralized and enormous. But in, uh, you know, in urban cities like Singapore, space requirements prohibit this direct application from other companies. And one of the biggest challenges, as you mentioned, is reproduction. So what we have done is we've used uh, methods which is common with domestication, to do selective breeding for um, in individuals that are able to not only breed under urban environments, but also have better um, viability and the better reproductive traits that are suited for dealing with food in our environment. So the, can the waste produced by the larvae from these black soldier flies fully substitute commercial fertilizers? Is that even the goal? So part of the hidden cost of domestic food production is not just the fertilizers, as you mentioned, but also the animal feed. In fact, um, Singapore imported about a thousand tons of agricultural fertilizers, I think in 2019, which is worth almost half a million. And similarly, our investment in animal feed for aquaculture also relies a lot on foreign imports. Now, part of this black soldier fly problem uh, is, could be a potential solution to that problem because their residue can be composted for fertilizers. And so that's part of the studies that we're currently doing. And the flies themselves are rich in protein and fats. And so they can be used as a potential substitute for fish meal in commercial pellets. Professor Nalini, thank you very much for sharing more on this uh, project you've been doing uh, with regards black soldier flies and their larvae. Assistant Professor Nalini Punyamurthy from NUS.